All right, friends. Trying to film here. Uh, Just the favorite power real estate group, Maxwell Challenge Realty, Rika Compliance. I posted on the local realtor Facebook group a kind of funny post. We were talking about all of the sins that realtors and sellers make when they're getting their house ready to list. So we thought, hey, we've got this listing coming up and the seller's a past client and a really good friend. So I called them and I said, why don't we film some shenanigans in your house so you there in internet land can learn what not to do when you're listing your house. <laughs> so unlike all of our polished production, so unlike all of our polished high production listing videos, we're literally attempting to do everything in a very haphazard fashion. So we can illustrate to you what you should be looking for in a realtor representing your listing and also what you shouldn't be doing with your house when you're getting it ready for media and going on the market to get maximum market value. So on that note, I've got the list of the Facebook comments here. We had 125 agents post very funny things, starting with number one, come this way, Craig. Sandy, should we paint a house before it goes on market? No. Wrong answer. <laughs> yes, we should. And it shouldn't be stupid colors, but you know what's really good? Right above Sandy's head and my head? You should absolutely leave the tape on. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. No toilet paper on the toilet paper roll. Come this way. Now, some people will argue, do we have it like this? Or do we have it like this? We're doing double duty because there actually is no toilet paper holder in this property. So we're gonna leave that there. You know what's awesome too is leaving things like cleaning supplies out in plain sight. If you've got a mop, put it away. Oh, and check this out. The seller actually wanted to be here so he brought this. It's brand new, it's not used, but it does look kind of nasty. This is a hairnet from a restaurant. Don't leave your hairnet lying around. When we come into the kitchen and the bathrooms, if we've got horizontal surfaces, of course we want to clutter them up with every single thing possible, like soaps, like toothbrush holders, like deodorant, so everybody knows your armpits smell like the forest when they come to look at your house. Sandy, show them the kitchen. All right, so the things you don't do. Don't leave half the light bulbs burnt out. Don't leave the plastic wrap left on, <laughs> on the appliances. Don't fix the trim. And for heaven's sake, do not clear off the countertops. Leave it as is, cleaning supplies, anything. Just leave it. Another thing you absolutely want to do before media day and when you have important showings, leave the toilet seat all the way up. Better yet, forget to flush. It, it's a chocolate bar. It's a prop. Justin's eating poo. True. And when you're doing videos and photo, make sure you have people who aren't supposed to be in the video and photos in it. <laughs> when the homeowner's not looking, make sure you set off the fire extinguisher. And like my friend Sandy always said, safety second, convenience first. Why put live wires away when you can leave them hanging around for people to electrocute themselves with? Okay, so let's go through some more of these from the, the, the Facebook thread. Visibly full garbage can in the bathroom. Good one. That's a very good one. Um, house, friend's house was listed with the primary bedroom photo showing her pillow stuck behind the headboard. Not bad. Um, <laughs> random pets walking through the photos. Oh, I love pets. No, that's a good one. That's okay. That's safe. Nice. <laughs> uh, one of the owners sitting on the couch with the TV on in the photos. Uh, Kleenex boxes, pets in the pictures. Take all photos with your phone, vertically of course, at night with the lights off, from even the car, maybe with the thumb in the camera lens area. Yes, um, if you're in the car, the window has to be half rolled oh, yeah. up, <laughs> so the window is in the frame, and the rear view mirror is in the frame with a thumb covering the camera. I actually took three of those. You did, I say so. And I'm probably gonna put it on this <laughs> listing just for giggles. It's got a cigar in it, shocker. Uh, different colored light bulbs, burnt out light bulbs. Those are, those are great. 
Oh, and Justin's favorite, the Live, Laugh, Love decor. Don't. Yeah. Take oh. it down. Take it down now. Take it down. Take it down. Nobody's laughing. Nobody <laughs> loves you. Anytime I see some, I just I show them. It's mm. funny. Um, okay, so in the MLS write-up, will we put gleaming anything? Oh, yeah. Gleaming counters, gleaming, gleaming cabinets, we gleaming... May, we may have done that in the last one. We, I, we do it all the time. I literally did it in that video that Craig just Boast. filmed for our latest listing, yeah. just as a joke. Boast. Boast. Oh, this is a good one. Put in the private remarks, you won't review offers until a set date and time, okay. but then present them immediately and accept one of them and don't tell anybody. Oh, snow photos in summer. That's a good one. That's a good one, yeah. Oh, and uh, this agent said, instead of putting the toilet seats up, just take the toilet seats off. Oh, okay. You don't need them. That's a good tip. Hover. Ooh, the iPhone fisheye. Yes, it's classic. Makes the room look much bigger. This is Perfect. an iPhone fisheye lens, by the way. Um, <clears throat> oh, bless you. Have your seller sneeze while you're recording a media <laughs> video in his listing. <laughs> Joking, I love you. Can't forget, highly sought after in the MLS write-up. If you've got cats, you should absolutely leave the litter box in all the photos. And by the way, don't bother sweeping up the kitty litter because my cat's really clean. It's on my socks now. Make sure your photographer gets a close-up on the sink with the water running as an action shot. So, unmade beds with questionable looking sheets. I'll take it another step further. I think one time, I do remember, it looked like someone was hiding underneath the, be the bed sheet. Oh really? Like they were there for the showing? Yeah. And they were just It looked like, like it. It totally looked like it. Well, they were hiding from monsters. Yeah. Everyone knows if it's you're funny. under the sheet, <laughs> the monster can't get you. And in the monster in this case, it's probably a realtor. So when you're doing videos or photography, make sure you and the videographer are in the mirror together. Okay, so if you got smoke detectors, you should totally take them off the, good hand off. Take them off the ceiling, you don't need them, but if you are gonna put them in, make sure they don't have a battery. So they beep. Right, Bren? Make sure you put appliances in very strange places. Also, ensure your realtor puts the listing in all caps on the MLS. Oh, I forgot my line. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can do the cut, hey? Just go... Uh... <laughs> Make sure your editor doesn't take out the bloopers. Leave it in the video. And don't worry about landscaping. No one looks in the backyard anyways. And make sure you put the lockbox on the gas meter, or the water meter, so when it rains, we walk in mud. Safety schmafety. Don't worry about steps or handrails. You absolutely need to make sure that you leave your baseboards off, you don't paint them, and you leave the flooring and the door in complete shambles. Nobody will notice. So obviously, friends, we're having a ton of fun doing stupid shenanigans <laughs> in this guy's house. What? Um, what? Did he just do that? Oh, whatever. Anyways, your house, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Big thanks to our client for letting us film in what is not a completed house. Obviously, he knows all of these things. We're joking around and he's doing them. But uh, for you watching, if you're gonna sit down with Sandy, if you're gonna sit down with myself, but we're asking you to do a bunch of stuff to get your house ready so we can get it. Uh, on the market looking as good as possible. This is why, because little hinges swing big doors and it affects your bottom line at the end of the day. So Sandy, someone's watching this and they want to give you a shout, book a consultation, how can they get a hold of you? Just give me a call, 780-667-7699. And of course, if you don't want to be represented by a wonderful <laughs> realtor such as Sandy and you like shenanigans, give me a call, 780-405-5272. Justin LeFevre and Power Real Estate Group. And Sandy Elmer. Maxwell Empower Challenge Real Estate. <laughs> We butchered it. There's no script today. <laughs> Whatever. Get empowered. We'll see you on the next video. Uh, yeah. Get empowered.
Hey there, if you've got questions about buying your first or next home, I want you to stop right now. What if I told you the key to making a good decision about your next home purchase has nothing to do with you finding answers to those questions. It has a lot more to do with you finding better questions. And that's why my partner Sandy and I have written this book. The Empower Home Buyer Academy is 500 pages of content with questions we get asked by our clients and a lot of other questions they didn't even think to ask. Now, making a good decision about your next home purchase doesn't need to be overwhelming. So feel free to download a digital copy free of charge of the Empower Home Buyer Academy by clicking on the link, well, I'd say below, but it might be to the side, it might be above our heads here. <laughs> I don't know. I'm Justin LeFaver. And I'm Sandy Emmerich. With the Empower Real Estate Group at Maxwell Challenge Realty. Get the book and get empowered. And after you read it, feel free to give us a call if you think we're the right fit to help you with your real estate goals.